what is going on people inside of the internet machine welcome to episode 41 let's go out and see if we can find some more shit that we don't need All right, guys, we are back. Move this back a little bit. All right, so uh, first thing I want to show you, a friend of mine that I've been selling and trading and, and buying games from for a while, uh, they just opened up this new kind of flea market. And when I say flea market, I mean it's a strip mall where two businesses adjacent to each other went out of business, so they knocked down the wall in the middle and made it like a flea market. It's one of those kind. Uh, but he was like, hey, man, I'm setting up a booth. Me and a buddy, or he and a buddy of his are setting up a booth come check it out and they do like comics and toys and uh, games and stuff like that but for three bucks picked up a sega genesis model 2 power cable which will absolutely come in handy because i picked up a sega genesis in the last episode that did not have a power cord so yay me stopped at a cashland advance um i knew i knew they had this game but i couldn't remember if i needed this game or you know the other installment of this game turns out i need this game so i went back and got it so for four bucks, picked up Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for the PlayStation 3. Now the only reason I picked that up is because uh, last summer while I was doing garage sailing, uh, found some empty cases. The guy told me I could just take them. So Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for the uh, PlayStation 3 is complete. And pretty much as soon as this video is over, I'm going to throw that thing on Craigslist for 10 bucks and see if I can just get rid of it and make a couple extra bucks on it. All right, so I go to the thrift store. You guys saw it in the uh, in the video clips there. Uh, gray was 50% off and yellow was 75% off. This was just 99 cents. Xbox original AV cable. Good condition, not ripped or anything like that. Usually when I find stuff like that, the cables are all ripped, the rubber and stuff. So, so I'm back there. I'm per perusing through the electronic section. And uh, I see one of my favorite items that I see when I go thrifting. Found a GameCube, and this one I probably overpaid a little bit for it. Got that one for 13 bucks. Um, it's in really nice shape, except for just minor scuffs and stuff on it, dirt and stuff on it. But uh, yeah, we've got enough cables and controllers and stuff that you know, thir 13 bucks for a GameCube, and they sell for 30 bucks in my area, and I'll, I'll have that sold within a week. So definitely happy to have that. Make a little, make a little bit of the money back. So. All right, so like last last episode, you guys saw they had uh, some N64 games out there and some Genesis games. Well, some of those N64 games were yellow tags, so they were 75% off today. So they were $4.99 originally, so 75% off means that these were $1.25. And I sure as hell wasn't going to leave them at that price. But uh, WCW NWO Revenge. WCW Mayhem. WWF Warzone, and last one, WrestleMania 2000. So we'll definitely, we'll clean all those up, and then we will get them out the door. I'll probably just post those on Craig's, because that's like five bucks worth of games that I, bought, that I bought them for. I'll probably put them up for 15, maybe triple my money. All right, so you guys saw in the footage there, they had a couple PlayStations, they had a Game Boy Advance that didn't work, and it was beat to hell, and they wanted like 25 bucks for it. They always price their Game Boy Advances at 25 bucks. I don't know why. And then they had like a little lot of Game Boy games. They were all $5. Not crazy good titles. Uh, Motocross Madness was in there. And HAL Wrestling was in there. So they, like I said, they were blue tag. So in a couple weeks, if they go on sale and I can get them for a little bit cheaper, I'll, I, I will. If not, 
they won't be missed. But uh, also, you guys may have seen it, may not have seen it in the video there. Pick this up. This was 50% off. My kids are getting into these kind of games. Um, so they are definitely excited for me to get done with this video so they can play it. So for six, it was 13 bucks, so half of that, $6.50. Picked up the Disney Infinity Starter Pack for the uh, 3DS. Everything is in there, the game, the little game portal board thingy, uh, all the cards, all that stuff is in there. So for six fifty, dollars couldn't go wrong there. I figure even if they don't like it or don't want it or play it for a month and throw it, throw it down, um, I can at least resell it and maybe get like 20 bucks out of it. So... Yeah, definitely cool to see that. Now, that thing has been sitting there for like two months, maybe maybe a little bit less than two months. And uh, I almost wanted to let it ride and see if next week is next week. The gray tags will be 75% off. But uh, I figure for $650, not a bad investment. So, all right. So right across the street from that thrift store is another thrift store. So I bounced in there. Uh, they really didn't have anything. I think I've struck out two episodes in a row in the old 75 cent games. They just don't have anything in, the, in there anymore. Um, you know, all sports games and Dance Dance Revolutions and things like that. But they did have some Genesis games. So for $5, complete in box, picked up a very nice copy of the Not For Resale Sonic. I guess a very nice complete copy. Uh, this will be going into my collection. I have a loose copy of this uh, that I will bundle with that Sega Genesis. So we'll hopefully get that out the door. All right. So you guys saw there, I stopped by Half Price Books. Um, they, for some reason, had a ton of Nintendo stuff in there. They also had Ninja Ninja Gaiden 3 for 50 bucks. Um, it was almost tempting because I never see that game. But uh, in the end, I just had to leave it. So as I'm looking through their stack of games, I saw that they had uh, Ninja Gaiden 2. And uh, it's a game I kind of wanted. And it, Whenever we go to conventions and whatnot, they sell it for 10 bucks, which, okay, that's what they want for it. But we found it half price books for $7.99. So definitely excited to uh, add a Nintendo cartridge to the collection, especially one that I actually want and want to play. So the last couple things here I got at the half price books, it's kind of upset me. So, uh, so for $4.99, picked up Practical Intelligence Quotient. Now, if you've ever played Intelligence Cube on the PlayStation 1, this is sort of like that. I'm not sure if this is some type of sequel or if it's in the family. But uh, basically, with these types of games, um, there's just a bunch of puzzles and you got to move blocks and try and, you know, do all that kind of stuff. So, definitely cool. That one is complete. And then the, uh, the second PSP game that I got here for $6.49. Looks pretty cool. It's a Konami title, Death Jr. And uh, I really like that reflective cover art. And it looks like a, uh, almost like a 3D platformer type of, type of thing there. So that one is also complete. So I go up to the counter and, you know, I'm paying or whatever. And she gave me my total. And uh, I gave her the money and I walked out the door and about I got about halfway home and I was like, you know, I'm going to check the condition of those discs to make, make sure they're not all messed up. Well, I opened them up and she had forgotten to put the UMDs in the cases. So I was like, holy smokes. So I had to drive all the way back. That was like 15 minutes back and then 15 minutes to get back to where I was before I had to go back. So that was like 30 minutes of my time. It's crazy. She apologized profusely and I was like, you know, it's okay. I'm sure it happens all the time. So I hit up another half price back books on the other side of the half price back. I'm an idiot. Half price books on the other side of town on my way home. Uh, they didn't really have a lot. They had a ton of Atari games, nothing crazy. But uh, yeah, I thought this was a, a really good deal. It's a game that I know I just got my Xbox, but you know, you watch top 10 lists and hidden gems and things like that. And you're like, oh man, if I ever had one, I would definitely get that game. A game that I, I was on my radar and I'm, it's awesome to have it. Aki Katana for the Xbox 360. You got that for $9.99. I like how they put on there the list price. It lists for $20. Bucks. Uh, this game is factory sealed still, which is awesome. Brand new Xbox games. If you're not familiar with this, it is a bullet hell style shoot 'em up. Very awesome. Yeah, look at those. Look at those graphics. Um, and I think 
Crave had something to do with this one. And if you're not familiar with Crave, let me look on the back. Yeah, there it is. There's the Crave logo. If you're not familiar with Crave or this game, uh, Crave did uh, Dodon Pachi series. They did all those. And then they did like Death Smiles for the Xbox 360. Another very awesome shoot 'em up. So, all right, guys, that is going to do it for uh, this segment. I don't know if I'm going to hit the thrift store or not again, or if I'm just going to hit the new subscribers and get out of here. I guess you'll have to wait and see. All right, guys, we're back at the honey hole. I'm going to try and get some uh, more 75 cent games. Check it out. Inside, see what color is. What is going on guys? Um, instead of ending the video, obviously I decided to go to the thrift store just to kind of see if I could find anything today and if I found something I'd throw it in this video, which I did and I will. So uh, first place we hit up, we hit uh, our honey hole, our place where we find 75 cent games. You guys saw it today was uh, yellow tag day. So anything under $10 that had a yellow tag on it was automatically 75 cents. So first thing that I picked up, mm, I actually picked this up for a friend of mine who wants one, but uh, snagged a Wii Fit Plus balance board. Uh, that was $12, so you know we're going to charge him $30. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. So while I'm there, I'm kind of snooping around I'm in kind of like the toy section. I never really go back there, but uh, I figure, you know, when it's time I'm going to find controllers or something back there. I'm really kind of hoping to find a like a Dreamcast or a GameCube uh, keyboard. That's kind of a gaming goal. Just to have one. So, uh, yeah, I ran across this bad boy. Six bucks for that. It is a bin completely full of Legos. So, um, if you guys don't know, man, Legos are getting really expensive. And uh, I've kind of started to watch them go crazy i guess you know because like i don't know like seven eight years ago they were like 5.99 a pound and like last year they were up to like 9.99 a pound and i don't know what they are now but for six bucks for a big box of legos um even if my kids don't want them i'll wash them put it on craigslist and i will move that right off the door so all right let's get to the games man 75 cent games there is the receipt you can see it's funny because it was yellow tag but in their system they have to ring it up red tag and then manually enter it so you can see 75 cents 75 cents 75 cents all the way down and we spent 12 dollars and what's that nine cents 1209 first three games are uh gamecube games which were cool to see again 75 cents nba courtside 2002 i did not have that one so we picked that up that is complete nfl street that one is complete. And the last one here, I think I have this already. Uh, Need for Speed Underground. I can't remember if I've got this one or uh, Underground 2. But that one is also complete. Manual's got a little bend right there, but uh, nothing we can't get out. All right, I figure out where I'm going to put these. All right, so then there were two Wii games in there. Uh, the first one was Ultimate I Spy. So... Yeah, I don't know. It's like I said, 75 cents. So we just picked that up. And then I'm actually going to put this with that Wii balance board. Uh, Wii Fit. Nice and complete. And then uh, the rest of the games were all PlayStation 2 games. Game that I would not ever buy unless it was 75 cents. But uh, Euro 2004, uh, UEFA, UEFA League. Um, complete. I like soccer games, so... Definitely pick that up. Uh, Street Hoops. Complete. MX Rider. Complete. 
That one actually kind of looks pretty cool. Dirt bike, dirt bike racing game. The Sims busting out. Complete. American Chopper 2. I don't even know if that show's on anymore. Complete. I don't know. It's, it might have some. Uh, might have some promise. You never know. Uh, Medal of Honor Frontline. Complete. Gran Turismo 3 A Spec. I don't think I have uh, this version. I think I've got just the regular Gran Turismo 3. That one is also complete. I do like that disc. It's kind of cool. Grand Theft Auto 3. Now this was out of the. Uh, well, that's complete. But this one was out of the uh, collector's edition. I think. I think it came with uh, Liberty City. I think. So it's kind of out of the collection. Uh, that would probably be in a giveaway, by the way, because I already have that game. Uh, Tony Hawk American Wasteland. That one is also complete. And the last game we got here, Dead to Rights. So that one is also complete. Guys, all those games were 75 cents. So yeah, I can't complain there. 75 cents. So I uh, driving around, driving around, driving around, y'all, the whole thing. Uh, kind of went out of my way to go to this thrift store. Two dollars, Ratatouille, 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 for the GameCube. I don't know. It kind of looks like a platformer, maybe. That one was complete. Uh, stopped by. To try to think if I can remember anything that I bought in the store. Um, yeah, I didn't get a lot of footage today. Sorry about that. But uh, it's not a thrift store. They sell their games for three dollars. They're all $2.99. So picked up Harry Pottage, Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. So I got that one for $3. Complete. Hot Wheels Velocity X Racing. That one is complete. And uh, yeah, it actually doesn't look bad, man. I kind of like that. And then the last game, the game I'll probably just throw up online for 10 bucks. See if I can uh, sell it. SpongeBob SquarePants, The Battle for Bikini Bottom. Um, I already have this. I got a nice black label copy of that. That one is also complete. So, got those. Stopped at a, uh, I'm trying to think, it's a, the thrift store. They got the Power Rangers 15 year legend thing at. Um, they had four Dreamcast games. They were all sports games, and they wanted five bucks a piece for them. So, when I saw the games, I started kind of hunting around for other Dreamcast stuff. Came across some third-party controllers for $2.99. I did find a first-party controller for $4. But, uh, yeah, this one's actually really cool. It's the Millennium 2000 Edition. And, again, that's a, an actual Sega product. But it's the uh, the clear rose color, which is kind of cool. Um, I looked on eBay. Uh, one of these, it didn't it hasn't sold yet, but uh, somebody was asking $36 just for this controller. So... Yeah, I don't know. I'll, pr I'll probably just keep it because um, I think it's kind of cool. All right. So, Brett Hamilton calls me the other day and he's like, hey, man, they got these box Super Nintendo games for $5. Do you want it? They were $9.99, but he got them down to $5. He's like, do you want them? And I said, tell me the title. So, he was telling me the titles and I was like, yeah, I'll take I'll take two. You know, give me the two. Um, they, I forget what he said they had. Um, they had uh, one that was 20 bucks. Oh, SimCity. They had SimCity complete in box for 20 bucks. I told them to just pass on that and just get these these two. They are complete. The box on this one's a little worse for wear. But uh, Pilot Wings for the Super Nintendo, again, $9.99, but he got them down to $5 a game. This one has the, uh, well, there's the game. Has the manual, obviously. And then the game looks like it's never even been played. And it's also kind of cool because uh, I don't have, I don't have this game, so definitely excited to have that. And then the uh, the last game, this is almost in in mint condition, man. This is in really great shape. Populous for the Super Nintendo Complete. Now this one does come with uh, a poster, the manual. Yeah, there we go. So it comes with a a Populous poster. 
There's the manual. Came with the tray. EA tray. And again, this game doesn't even look like it was played. Like the label is in mint condition. There's no nastiness on the cartridge. The pins are all nice and uh, nice and shiny. So, all right. Those are the games that we got. I did get one more item inside this box right here. This one is the most important pickup for me this year. Now, I could find 10 copies of Flintstone Surprise at Dinosaur Peak or 20 copies of Little Samson. But this is the most important pickup of the week or of the year. Inside this box is my final textbook. Some of you guys may have heard when I talk on my videos that it was a long week this week. I had class or I had homework. Um, actually getting ready to complete my master's degree. And this is the last book that I need uh, for my class, which by the time you're watching this, we're probably two or three weeks into the, uh, the semester. So definitely excited to get that. All right, so we're going to do what we usually do. I'm going to grab my notebook. We are going to give our new subscriber shout outs, and then we're going to roll credits and get out of here. So give me one minute. All right, guys, we are back. Let's end episode 41. Got the list. Forgot that I had to make the list, so I had to go make the list. Now I got the list. I'm going to read the list. All right, so uh, this is what we do every episode. Give our new subscribers a shout out. The first set of subscribers don't necessarily post videos on their YouTube channel, but uh, thank you guys so much for... Uh, subscribing to my channel and participating in all that. So, all right, here we go. Rusty Blades 11, Dark Fox 64, Brooklyn Garrett, Lenny Logan, Badonka 23, Dr. Doggy Productions, The Iron Cube, Rob Locks, Magic Betwix, Donnell Govan, Jefferson Laquazi, Laquazi, Clinsters, Jesus Echevera, Geraldo Vargas, Ben Gorman, Isabel Regan, or Reagan, Tucker Hughes, Ishmael Uloa, Magnum2524, and Alec Wright. Guys, thank you so much for subscribing. And as always, this last set of subscribers, they do post videos on their YouTube channel. Links will be in the description below. Chasing the Classics uh, does pickup videos. Uh, posted a video on uh, the Turbo Tunnel, which is cool because I just did the Turbo Tunnel, Turbo Tunnel as well this year. So definitely check that out. Uh, Giannis Katsinaeus, hope I hope I said that right, uh, really into street racing, has street racing videos posted. Zane Bendel, uh, says like like a webcam kind of thing, and he's got, uh, he's got this really cool like beer stein collection. So like my family's German, so my dad's got like a ton of beer steins and whatever, so always kind of find that neat. Um, Elijah Butler uh, has one video posted, it's for Destiny, so if you're into Destiny, check that out. Asperger's Gamer 84 uh, does videos like uh, MLB The Show 15, things like that. So check that out. Back to the video games, top five games of 2015, things like that. Uh, John Ninja XD uh, does like fake game trailers and like whatever happened to Mario 128 and some Mario Sunshine stuff. So check that out. Elemental Vortex. Um, just sort of miscellaneous videos like music. He's got some picture, uh, videos of his dog and stuff up there. Uh, Dane's Collection does pickup videos, uh, flea markets, thrift stores, that kind of stuff, and uh, Pokemon cards. So if you uh, if you cross the video game thing into the Pokemon stuff, definitely check out that channel. Uh, last last shout out um, goes to Retro Game Guy. Retro Game Guy just started his channel. Um, he's posting videos like almost every day or every other day, sometimes two videos a day. And basically what he's doing is he's, uh, you know, one of the videos is like an introduction about his channel and about him and his gaming history or whatever. And then like he'll play a video game that he hasn't played in like 20 years <laughs> and he'll play it for, I don't know, like 20 minutes, which is uh, kind of cool to go back and, and check out some of those classics. Um, like recently he did like Mega Man and Contra, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out!, um, and a game that I was kind of interested in getting, I was kind of on the fence about, Journey to Silius. Uh, after watching him play it, it looks pretty tough, but if I can find it cheap, it looks like a pretty cool platformer. So definitely check out Retro Game Guy. All the links will be in the description, like I said. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.